Hey guys, so my wife Ava thinks that today we're making a video where she's gonna try several varieties of store-bought pasta sauces and rate and review them in a blind taste test. And while we are going to do that, I have a little trick up my sleeve. You see, in addition to the four pasta sauces that I went to the store this morning and purchased, I also have a little pot of her very own pasta sauce recipe. It's a simple tomato sauce. If you're curious for the recipe, you can check it out here. But I'm really curious to see if she's actually going to be able to distinguish that this is a homemade tomato sauce or whether or not she'll even think it's good. So without any further ado... Hi, I'm Harper. Ciao, I'm Eva. Many of you have requested a video um, with Eva's thoughts on store-bought prepared pasta sauces. So we thought today we would have a little blind taste test review. The idea is not just to introduce Ava to these sauces, but to have her as an Italian and a, a decent cook uh, <laughs> to rate and review these sauces and ultimately to pick a winner. If there is a winner. There can only be one. There can be only one. <laughs> there can be less worse than all the rest. Yeah, exactly. Maybe you'll find one you really like. I'm gonna prepare a little plate of spaghetti with each sauce one at a time, and uh, you're not allowed to know which sauce they are, anything about them. You're just gonna taste them, try them, let us know what you think, and at the end, you have to proclaim the victor. But I have a question. Yeah? At least did you learn how to make spaghetti? Yeah, I think I'm good on the spaghetti. What I don't know is, how, what's the best way to mix it in with the sauce? Should I heat the sauce in a separate pan and then mix them all in a... Uh, I'll figure it out. Well, it's time for me to start cooking, so you gotta go. Get out of the room. Ciao! Bye! 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 I don't know if I will come back. <laughs> Our first sauce today is Hunt's traditional pasta sauce. Let's see, we've got tomato puree, makes sense, water, good, tomato paste, and uh, in case you're thinking it was, might be a little bit bitter, it has a uh, high fructose corn syrup, corn syrup, and sugar. Carrot fiber. Isn't that just carrot? If anyone knows what carrot fiber is, please let me know. It has a very, very strong smell, which kind of concerns me. We have our very first pasta sauce preparation of the day. Now we're gonna go without Parmigiano today because we don't want to ruin, you know, ruin. <laughs> ruin the, the flavor. Exactly. I feel like Master Chef. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm not getting eliminated today. <laughs> maybe yes. Maybe yes. So how do, how does it look? How does it smell? Okay, they look watery. It's like. Here there is the tomatoes and here there is the water. And I don't know if it's your fault or this uh, preparation, this sauce. We'll give uh, this uh, brand the benefit of the doubt and it was probably my fault. Then the smell. I, I have to say this one has a much stronger smell than I was expecting. It smells like uh, herbs more than uh, tomatoes. I can judge also how spaghetti are cooked. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Spaghetti are cooked al dente. They're good? Mm -hmm. Bravo. Yay. Bravo. Grazie. The sauce, okay, from the smell, I was expecting much worse. Really? Si. When... Okay, it's not my favorite tomato sauce, mm -hmm. but uh, because you can taste all the herbs and tomato sauce should taste as tomatoes more than uh, 
garlic on onion and all the herbs. I'm, I'm having trouble with the spaghetti here, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> on a side note, I apparently don't know how to eat spaghetti. Yeah, it uh, it smells much stronger than it tastes. Uh, see, much more. And also, as I told before, it's like you taste more spices, but it's not disgusting as I was expecting from the smell. Mm -hmm. So let's say that in between 1 and 10, at the maximum 1 is the minimum. This can be like, uh, I don't know, 5. Well, wait till you try the others. It might skew the scale a little bit. <laughs> Maybe, but this is, let's give this a five. Okay, a solid five for a first entry. Mm -hmm. This gives me hope. This really gives me hope. You might like some of these. Maybe, maybe. Next up we have Newman's Own Roasted Garlic. Now, if you've watched this channel much before, you know that Ava is not the biggest fan of garlic but uh, I thought we'd give it a shot, something maybe a little more flavorful. We all know that Newman's is great because 100% of the profits go to charity, but do they make a good tomato sauce? That is the question. Whoa. Garlic. Lots and lots of garlic. Our second pasta is ready. What do you think? Aglio, it's garlicky. There might be some garlic in there. What do you think of the texture? It looks a little, a little thicker. It looks uh, less watery, but it's too thick. Too thick? See? And then the smell of this time is pretty horrible. It's garlic. It's a garlic pate. Do you have a lot of um, vampire? vampires? Vampires? <laughs> yes, Maine is known for its vampires. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did she say? I <laughs> said so that it's difficult to turn the spaghetti. <laughs> bon See, I'm not the only one who has trouble. <laughs> <laughs> buon appetito. Some Italian you are. Shut up, buon appetito. <laughs> no, I take it that's a no. What, what does this mean? I don't that's, speak Italian hands. What? Finish the bite if, if you can. <laughs> don't spit it out. Is it that bad? Is it that bad? I was hoping maybe it'd be like the other one. It would have a strong smell and then a, a nice mild taste. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. And the texture is, uh, it seems like glue. It's like, mm. That is extraordinarily garlicky. That's all you can taste. The, just garlic. That's all you it's can like taste. Uh, if you take a clove of garlic and you eat a clove of garlic mashed and boiled, that is worse. I don't know which brand is this, but it's horrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's horrible. So you rated the first one a five out of ten. Mm -hmm. What would you give this one? As we say in Italy, non pervenuto, NP. I can't give a number because less than one we have zero. Zero is a number. Zero. zero. Give, it zero. A, give it a zero. Zero. If you know this tomato sauce or a kind of tomato sauce, run away. Speaking of run away, run away. I gotta cook the third one. Ciao. Oh. Oh. As we get further along here, I thought we would spice things up with a Classico Spicy Tomato and Basil. It's a pretty basic tomato sauce, but it has bell peppers and crushed red pepper flakes. So I'm curious what Ava thinks of the heat on this one. That actually smells pretty good. Granted, it's me saying it, and uh, I don't exactly have the most demanding tastes, but that actually smells pretty appetizing to me. Da -da 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 
pasta sauce ready for your pleasure. How many others do we have? Uh, two more. Okay, so no what? No, no water. <laughs> some water. I Got mean, your hopes up too soon. Some water here. We have some water. What do you think of the smell? It smells like feet. Like feet? <laughs> that actually smells pretty appetizing to me. The number one was acceptable, and the number two was disgusting. Let's see the number three. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. It's not like the number two. It's not as bad as number two. No. How does it compare to number one? I prefer more the number one than this. Really? Because, uh, okay, this has... Uh, when you put the first uh, the pasta in your mouth, you have this always herbs taste. And this is something that I don't really get. Uh, why when uh, they make a tomato sauce, uh, it doesn't taste as tomatoes, but it tastes like herbs. It's a tomato sauce. I like this one more than the first one, I would say. What do you think of the spice? It's a little spicier. I didn't taste at all. <laughs> it was supposed to be spicy. I'm not saying anything else. I don't taste any spicy pepper. I taste just these herbs that it's a mix in between, I think, onion and garlic and parsley from 10 to 1. The first one was 5. The second one was 0. This can be like 3. The pasta still okay? No, no, the pasta is always al dente. He learned finally how to cook pasta properly. I'm proud because I was his teacher, so. It helps that I'm using the good pasta that I stole from your pantry. <laughs> That's why. I'm recording this before she tries any of these, but if I know Ava, probably about this time she's getting sick of garlic. So I got this uh, Prego sensitive recipe. No onions or garlic. Uh, it seemed kind of interesting. It's just a really simple tomato sauce, just tomato puree, diced tomatoes, sugar, canola oil. Okay, that's a little weird. And uh, salt, spices, and citric acids. So maybe she'll appreciate the milder flavors of the sensitive recipe. Uh, I don't really know how to describe the smell of this one. It smells completely unlike the others. It smells very sweet though. I don't know, but it smells, I, I don't wanna say bad, but, but weird. Also, there are just only so many ways that I can one-handedly record myself uh, making the same plate of spaghetti over and over again. So uh, if it's cool with you guys, I'm just gonna skip to the finished pasta. Cool? Cool. Number four, I must say, I'm getting a little tired of cooking spaghetti. I am a little bit tired to eat this. Check the water. <laughs> Pretty watery. A little bit. But they put in some lemon. Lemon, that's what it is. I couldn't figure out what I was smelling. You're right. It's very citrusy. That's what I was smelling. Do you think it smells bad though? I love the smell of lemon by itself. Mm -hmm. In a tomato sauce, come on. Buon appetito! It's sweet. It's sweet? It smells sweet. And it tastes like lemon. In a good way or bad way? If you want tomato sauce and it tastes like lemon, there is something wrong. Whoa, it's very sweet. This seems to eat like tomato jam. It does remind me of tomato jam. Yeah, you could eat that on like a piece of toast. So on the same, uh, in between the same number, 10 uh, to 1, this is like 1 plus, uh, just for the effort, the plus. <laughs> Are you ready for the last one? Your final sacrifice? And then stop. And then that's it. And just then freedom. More. Just one more and then you're free to go. Okay. Although you, you do have to go now because you have to leave the room. <laughs> Ciao. And it's finally time. For now, we have come to Ava's very own recipe. 
I might be in trouble. I don't think this is gonna fool her. Fifth, the final pasta sauce of the day. So this is the last one. This is the last one, and I think this is the brand that our viewers are most curious to know what you think of. No water. It smells like tomatoes. <laughs> Smells like tomatoes? <laughs> it smells like tomatoes. <laughs> it does smell pretty good. But as we've learned, you can't always judge these based on smell. Oh, no, yes, you are right. Because the first one smells very bad, but was the best in the other. <laughs> there is basil. <laughs> there is basil. There is basil. Buon appetito. Pretty good. <laughs> That's really good. Mamma mia. <laughs> where did you buy it? Because. <laughs> oh, you might be scared to find out where this came from. What do you like oh. about it? It tastes as tomatoes. It doesn't taste sweet. It doesn't taste as all the other herbs. It doesn't taste as garlic. So good. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's really good. Do you know why it's good? <laughs> no, I don't know why it's good, but it's good. It's your recipe. <laughs> <laughs> I made it this morning. <laughs> now I can understand. <laughs> <laughs> now I can understand why I'm keeping it. I made it exactly it. the way you make it. Now I can understand. It was too strange that this came out from a prepared jar. <laughs> I have this experience every time we do one of these like blind taste tests or something where we try a bunch of things. I sort of gradually forget what the real thing tastes like. And then, and then when you go back to it, it's like, oh. Oh, this is the taste of a tomato sauce. Yeah. So do you want to know what you ate today? Mm-hmm. I'm curious. Number four, that was the lemony one, was Prego Sensitive Recipe. I thought I would try it because it has no onions or garlic, and I thought that that would be uh, probably a welcome innovation. I discovered that a tomato sauce can taste like lemon. Number three, the one that out of uh, all except your own, I think I liked the most, but you were not so hot on and you thought it smelled like feet, was uh, this Classico spicy tomato and basil. And they point to the, the Molise. Molise is a region in Italy. Mm -hmm. And come on, France from Molise. I'm pretty sure that this is nothing that belongs to you. So don't worry. You are forgiven. Number two, the one that you gave a big fat zero to, was Newman's own roasted garlic he makes this sauce yes it's like a it's a charity paul my friend i'm willing to make you a donation because it's a good cause that's okay but come on stay away from tomato sauce they also do frozen pizzas and lastly the first sauce we had the one that you liked the most you gave a resounding five to was also the one that I thought would be the worst and the one that you would hate the most. It's a can of Hunt's traditional pasta sauce. Come on, they did a good job. So for anyone who's maybe short on time or they're tired, they don't want to go through the hassle of reducing their own tomato sauce at home, would you recommend Hunt's pasta sauce? Mm -mm, no, I don't recommend any of this and also that because I can show you how to make a very good pasta and tomatoes. But is it quick? It's very quick. Is it cheap? It's very cheap. And is it yummy? It's delicious that you can't believe it. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, definitely the best smells of the day. I'm really excited for this one. What is this called? Okay, this has a name, and the name is Pasta allo Scarpariello, but actually it's pasta and cherry tomatoes. It is so creamy. It I don't know creamy. if you can see that, <laughs> and it's it's like, <laughs> I don't really believe that that's all that's in it, but I saw you make the whole thing. Just some cherry tomatoes, some olive oil. No tricks. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. That is so good. That is so unbelievably good. That's like magic. Like there's nothing in this. There's nothing in this pasta. There are uh, cherry tomatoes, basil, olive oil, garlic. You don't need uh, nothing else to have a good pasta dish. This is one of those dishes like the real fettuccine alfredo, like a uh, simple carbonara that just exemplifies Italian cuisine so well because it is so simple but the product is just so much greater than the sum of its parts. Less is more. It took less time than it did to cook the pasta to make the Five sauce. Five minutes. <laughs> Forgive the indulgence guys, um, today is actually our wedding anniversary. So, there's nothing like celebrating your marriage by uh, trying to deviously trick your wife with a blind taste test. I'm on a happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Okay, let's eat. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, guys. If you give this recipe a shot, please let us know. Tag us on a picture on Instagram, at Pasta Grammar. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the like button on the video. We'll see you next time. Ciao! Ciao!